In fact, I have I was but I, I have been given the task of protecting Sri Lankan wildlife and action for conservation. That means Sri Lanka be one of the Naraksha Kiri Masaha, Sandakshana Sanda Gatil Kriyamar Kamanwajana, we are Gatia Araganathin Kriyamar Kamanwajana, Katakiri Mata Tamai Mata, General Machuka Katheater, Velatini. If you make a Tamani Matruka, Patanga, and Silamakitanoka, and you make a slide take a move in Ogila, pain other, can anybody respond? And pain or pain of it. Okay, okay. Right. Apina may me, I lay in the mini mini so in me jatia. Tamungi Parisare, Atwashima Vinat, we do you don't need any other examples. The person who I know this 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 particular photograph was taken from the internet, and this clearly indicated that the you know unshame, a shameless behavior of the uh, uh, the Homo sapiens sapiens. So you are you are you are you are polluting your original environment where. Without any hesitations, you know that we also uh, evolved with other animals in the Sahara Desert. Now Sahara Desert, at that time it was a ek on the Kantaraya, maybe ek on the Vanantaraya. E Vanantaraya api anik satun samag jivatuna namud api diunuin na diunuin na api Ramo Pitakas yan awadiyat astrolo Pitakas Homo habilis Homo erectus Neanderthal. Uh, Homo magnan, Homo sapiens, me are the version out of Africa, uh, migrate kara, disperse zuna, evila, api uh, hunting and gathering culture again, api uh, it was a change zuna, harvesting and uh, uh, cultivation and harvesting method, it was a, uh, we were developing some townships, villages, and so forth, and we were the engineers of the landscape, we were able to change the landscape as we wish. And also we Apitamai, Ugakalavata, uh Loki in the Satunatri, Tamungi Jivin Vinasha Kitima Sandaha, most destructive weapons power chicken nekama species ekatana homo sapiens sapiens kill again. May we get a loke parina mela make a tama in apitan in then daila the in a metate, and a gota this is out of Africa theory, it was a me loke api, me landscape naskara. Satunta see it with Sagutta Pita, see it as well to Nikela than Glen Perganyama, Emakaran Atharadura, Ola P. Magnica to Internet Tank at the Chai Rupia, May they make Chai Rupia, Oland, Boho Deval, Boho Deval, Prakashagana, Kohoma, the Banaji V. Sandrakshane, why do you need to protect Messial and why do you need the policies? Why do you need the international policies? May Hamegatama Pilitura in the Machai Rupia, Oland, the Ganabula, Adite, our Genegaran, Olangi, Adite. Oolang a memory sulim pindura and balnota, which are on the which a planet take at the me, a piada, a vinashakalati, negine, a third api latino. It told Sobave di, Atite di, a bitter, a bivida, a maha nasta, a matam, vicious, between to run me make carta via the tibuna, he also, yes, yalla, masoba, the city, Namutapidang, hiring carta via the maha nasta, our theatre, Lamelatino, aka Hila Bulavata. Minisavishin, <laughs> Whether that put a the The forest is a peculiar organism of unlimited kindness and benevolence that makes no demands for its sustenance and extends generously the products of its life activity. It affords protection to all beings like us and offering shade even to the X-Men who destroy it. It's a good time, make it a man for the animal chain, environmental services here, and a Tarkan Kula day, but only an one say call a prediction. I agree, may anua, a pea, a pea culture, a pea, a better thing, 
परसरे आरक्षा के लिए सिद्धांत मत यामतर दुनवंगे असुकाले का लंका और टापु अभी पालवे ने एनवायरनमेंट पॉलिसी एक एडॉप्टेड बाय द किंग देवानाम पीतिस इधर यार टेक ओवर के तमाय अभी उनका कलाट सामान्य रात मत कहते हैं माचो कंसर्वेशन एक स्लोगन ने करता भी कर दाल दी बुना द फर्स्ट रिकॉर्ड रिकॉर्डेड एनवायरनमेंट पॉलिसी इन श्रीलंका दैट डस नॉट मीन आई एम निकलेक्टिंग ओ हैविंग एनी रिसर्वेशन फॉर बियोंड दिस वन बिकॉज़ दिस इज़ द वन आई कूड फाइंड बट इफ समबडी कैन फाइंड इट एनी अदर एनवायरनमेंट पॉलिसी पार्ट एट इन श्रीलंका आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सेप्ट सो ही द वन दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट एनवायरनमेंट पॉलिसी that was adopted by the king because he was told that o oh, great king the bird of there and the beast of the earth have an equal right to live and move about any part of this land as you the land belongs to you lands belong to the people and all other beings and you are only the guardian of it sorry a guardian of it so this is the first principle that we are talking of the uh, any uh, policy decision that we are going to take on this matter so with that uh, if i if i do not uh, recall the very evolution of the wildlife for the environment policies of sri lanka it is unfair these policies and wildlife management these practices avada katta eka ranking eliyata ap dewal ne ekata evolution ekak thena if i consider the uh, ंग Uh, natural flow flow of the nature so even some of the stone script says protecting fish in tanks within the three gauss from anrajpura city during the nisangamalla period so these are the some sort of uh, conservation measures taken at that time in because of the sacred city even i think i today i would like to mention that we were the first people Who declared the human sanctuary in Sri Lanka? That is in Dapula in the fifth century. It is close to uh, Madatugama. Close to Madatugama. There is a chat. What is it? Sorry, I am bit late. I, ah, okay. Uh, King Dapula. Uh, King Dapula uh, declared an area as a human sanctuary. It's still, you can see the stone pillars uh, close to Andigama when you are on the way to. and uh, madatugama so these are the things that we are uh, very always we are saying that we are uh, we are we are very well uh, concerned about that part even not only the our uh, the wildlife our kings and our rulers were respecting the uh, respect were respecting uh, the uh, traditional tribal people you know that the famous uh, fight between the uh, the gota bear gota imbara and the ritikala jayasena gota imbara is one of the general of the tugamunnu and when he uh, confronted with the tribal people and he was asked to leave the uh, palace and uh, then those uh, respect was there for the traditional people at that time also so we were living in harmony with the nature api boho velawata swabhavat ek ekakari ekama pramukha jeevathuna e inda e kale di apita vana jeevi saha sanrakshana policies pasukali nawa avashya unne ne प्रोविंस Taking place at that time, so we were living in harmony. There is no necessity for our new policies. Abhi the now now policies kiri me avachha da thi bune na. Abhi send madhya ma kadu kore rata thi bune. Evo na ta abhi dhan na ita pas ja abhi the foreign invasions ao. 
එනකොට අපිට ආව පෝචුගීස් ඊට පස්සේ ආව ඩච් ඊට පස්සේ අපිට ආවේ බ්‍රිටිෂ් අපේ ලංකාව විශාල වශයෙන් හානි කිරීමට සිදු වුණේ පටන් ගත්තේ බ්‍රිටිෂ් ලගේ කාලෙදි මෙතන සුද්දු ඔහොල අපි කියන සුද්දු වෙන්නේ ඔක්කොම සුද්දු තමයි අපි ඉංගලන්තේ මේ සුද්දු කියන සුද්දු කියලා ඒ දේ කාලෙදි තමයි අපි දන්නවා 1811 දී සැමුවල් ඩැනියල් කියන සුපරින්ටෙන්ඩන්ට් ඔෆ් ෆොරස්ට් හි වොස් ටෝටලි concentrating on the killing of for timber and clearing of forest for security reasons we know that we had uh, the same situation for security reason during last 30 years starting from uh, 2010 uh, and uh, went back 30 years so 1989 because of this uh, severe destruction 1918 89 there was a establishment and creation of the forest department for the conservation of wildlife in sri lanka forest come, come under the forest department and other than the provincial forest came under the ga matang uh, what is called apigian uh, negata disapadi kale so in that time the objective of conservation the conservation is the protection and systematic management of the state forest in order to produce a sustain and permanent yield in the ek ප්‍රොඩක්ෂන් ෆොරස් තමයි ඒගොල්ලෝ ඒ කාලෙදි කතා කරේ. ඒ වගේම තමයි ස්වයිට්ස් ඌක ඇන්ඩ් ග්‍රෙගරි 1973 and 1874 they they highlighted ඒගොල්ලෝ ඉදිරියට ගෙනාව the completed the complete denudation of the forest for the purpose of coffee planting has become a serious evil කියන කතන්දරේ මේගොල්ලෝ ඒ වලම සුද්දම ोट which was being carried out on behalf of traders who actually supplied villages with powder and shot for the destruction of those animals whose bodies furnish the best hide for export so therefore because of this unwanted destruction wanted destruction the clerk advocate advocated the government to have immediate legislation to forbid the practice and this was supported by the brown conservative brown conservative for us at that time this was way back in 1889 so as you all know our wildlife was brutally massacred these are some of the guys uh, who kill lot of animal during that time and this is something i took it from the internet say in that ali ekdas arsiak mardara sohan kotara අකුණු ගහන මේජර් තෝමස් විලියම්ගේ කතාව so those are the people who contributed to the you know destruction of uh, wildlife in sri lanka samuel baker even though we have baker's falls in horton plains uh, you know after his name but we should have removed it so after that we had the uh, you know series of legislation and uh, then we have uh, demarcated certain areas for uh, two camps one is conservation camps other one is against that hunters camp so because of that the game protection society uh, in favor of this conservation activities game protection society was created so you should be aware of all those things then the protected resources have been 19100 so declare on two section to the forest code in yala and will put at that time so game protection society which was originated created as a result of support in this area right they put some trackers to uh, you know safeguard those areas then after that uh, more legislation came into being in the navata ek ek legislation sava eva dry meat ordinance wild bird protection net fish dynamic net and so forth which will uh, which would have help the uh, reduction of uh, wildlife resources in sri lanka so during 1909 not 9 to 
1929 all the all the the loans were consolidated uh, and all form of commercial exploitation was controlled uh, practice of slaughtering animals over water holes was banned uh, prosecute sportsmen and concentrated on intensive protection of specified areas so with that new it was a bit our new constitution vanajeevi sanrakshana vanajeevi forest department ministry of agriculture and land kiyana aayathane adathara genawa then ide passe egollo appoint kara phone and flora protection committee ka ek edi recommend with those recommendation so uh, 1930 five was they submitted the action and 1937 already phone and flora protection ordinance ka then up again act ka wildlife department ke management tool ka apita ava legislation enactment ka kadida e wagema thamai ek daasa me earlier ordinance ka dibbat wildlife act ka management implementation organization ka thibunne forest department ka ोटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटे
uh, irrigation project settlement scheme in the wildlife kathakara asubage irwasa se tama anubage tamai me hitala samuluwath ekka apita biodiversity kiyana section ekai climate change me siyallakma apita issarata illa den e slogan ekata api yanawa ekata me 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 map ekak ogolanna balapuwam pena koi aakarayenda lankave sanrakshana pradesha selakillata bajana kala yutte mona mona pradesha da मेनेजर क्रिया इनफोर्मेशन बेसिकोडिटी कॉन्सेप्ट का केले का कावा एक अटा भी बायोडायवर्सिटी के ने का भी आर्थ देखो आ वैरायटी ऑफ ला यू नो लाइफ ऑन नर्थ एंड दे सिस्टम्स ये तो कुछ आप ही जानना हमें बायोडायवर्सिटी के मुगा कर उद्दू जानना वांसे की हुआ के कोसिस्टम सर्विसेज चीन वा मेक स्टडी कराना नॉने मेक पावची कराना नॉने ये इंद अभी प्रजावी इनफोर्मेशन बेसिकाइट संरक्षण की आधार वनजीवी उटसाइडी संरक्षण 
ecological process maintain karandone, it was a genetic diversity main karandone, such ego pavichikarano, me watamai in line with the before the me, 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 they will lapi, exalt me anueke, eternal me where make a credit again on Mahachara Kotagamanda, Kotagame or Nether Samulu and Nagdas with Anu their calling, while left for police and Nirman Ekara. Egedi, me, they will, happy then, bird house city policy. Bird house city can come with the wildlife, Egedi, yeah, Yojanagara, wildlife is our life. Then Apigiana, biodiversity is our life. So we are some finer people. They, they knew that. So therefore, credit should go to where it deserves. And in other words, if you consider the wildlife conservation and research in this country, one of the pioneer members who initiated wildlife programs in the UNO system goes to Professor Kotagam. So I am proud to say that I am one of his students. So then in 2000, there is a national new policy came into being because it was summarized for that part. So we have the wildlife policy, we have the forest policy, we have biodiversity, and different policies are going to come to conserve the wildlife of the country or the biodiversity of this country. So we'll see that where wildlife stands out of biodiversity sphere. So for current status, we are losing battles. We cannot be happy about what is happening and what is going on within the country. Our attitudes, some academics, Attitudes, some politicians' attitudes, some NGOs' attitudes. You can be a very good person. Right? So, therefore, don't put the head on your head. Those attitudes and their personal agendas, we are having a problem. I keep it as attitudes is something. So, we will have to develop the attitude of the people for conservation, telling something and doing something, two different things. Then the land pressure, pressure on land is heavy. Poor understanding of the ecosystem dynamic and services. Because without understanding these things, people are going and doing various things to the environment and ultimately end up with disasters. So Sri Lanka, I don't want to go into these details. We have international conventions, so you know that. A lot of international conventions, I am not going to detail that part. Everything, CITES, biodiversity, wetland, of uh, framework for climate change, post conservation, migrated species, Ramsa, right? Protection of work culture. There are so many conventions, and we are working in line with them. We have ratified most of them. And United Nations come back, of convention to come back, desertification. These things are there. So the prone and prone protection order we have already established 37, and we have different amendments. So, key features of the wildlife. Management tool of this country, fauna and flora protection ordinance. You have the protected areas, protected species list, import, importation of animal regulated, regulation, regulation, exportation of animals, special provision related to elephants, right based on customs, usage, and traditional practices are saved. These things are there. So we have protected area and species. National reserves, different types. I will come to that too also later. List of species, sanctuaries. Apart from that, restriction, development restrictions on around the national reserves. These are the areas where up in the wildlife conservation negative in a supporting areas. Therefore, if you consider recent development, when we are implementing this conservation action, public interest. Uh, litigations, certain offenses to be non-bailable, power of entry without a search warrant, elephant pregnancy, lot of things are inclusion of negative list, low environmental impact assessment, manage elephant resource and so forth are in the legislation and management tool. So therefore, lot of actions are there. In order to take actions, in order to implement all those things, it is paramount of important, you must have to have information base. So we know that planet is our home. We share, we roam, our biodiversity fly, swim, forest, mountain, grasslands, and savannas. So we are having huge problem. This is what I critically mentioned all the above. So Sri Lankan forest is 
now evolution we expected now we are in the same category now so this will help you to understand coupling with the previous one what has happened to the wildlife what happened to the ecosystem where animal live so i am trying to say that you need the oxygen you need the water you need the medicine be why because you created an environment ogollo arigasala thina parisarayak miniyata jeevat thimata bari prutive idiri gamana yamata bari eginda ogollo jeevat ekai anik satun jeevat ekai apita jeevat wenna bari anik satunta jeevat wenna bari ina me tattwayata the parisarathi palathi pratisthapane kirima sandaha api kateyutu kirima agi avruddhe apita me avruddhe api sakaccha kara e wagema thamai world wide life day ge key species for restoration of ecosystem key species etagota we know that no intelligent species would destroy their own environment except homo sapiens sapiens so we have to fight with our own politicians administrators some politician some administrators and some scientists who try to earn an income out of the conservation process it is very clear to all of us now more than ever we need to focus protecting our planet as well as our country and we are in the process of uh developing uh certain criterions so sri lanka is now facing a huge problem badly behaved due to the certain policies of the ruling or the previous government that were in power together with their supporters this is very true this is nothing to hide this is not a political agenda everybody accepted the very good example coming from the cancellation of circular which set aside 2001 circular given the land for forest land for forest department with this new government came into power abolished so one of the good ngos is fighting i don't know name in the name he has gone to the courts and we will be able to see the uh, good results out of that however what is i am trying to say here is the 2001 circular was given the land to the one department but until 2021 when the circular was abolished they could have upgraded these areas take into consideration different form of different categories of protected areas and could have would have protected but that has not been done i raised the question from the one of the officers senior officers of the department and he didn't he couldn't give any answers to that right so we know that the, you have office uh loku prashna kathi karana climate change ka e wage ma thamai climate change er balapano api habira loss ka and destruction to their degradation and fragmentation of the forest cover pollution with every year that passes we are losing more and more species to ecosystem and ecosystem becoming from ecosystem becoming from rare vulnerable endangered critically endangered pests and or as far as the ecosystems are concerned ecosystems are there is a procedure for red listing category which is called ecosystem collapse so you have the information about the red listing of species now you have information about the red listing of ecosystem so both are going in parallel link each other you need to work out a sensible program sensible restrict restricting red listing report of a country on species and ecosystem support this argument we have you have we will have to do what we will have to do understandably we are becoming more and more concerned about the present and future of both ours and the next generations lives some blame as i am doing that some blame for politics for this some blame blame for way of living some blame for somebody contribution and some of us however we need to take action and that is why we have been trying so for as an example i have been uh, struggling for last 40 years so now keeping all this environmental conservation and all those aspects we'll see that 
as I mentioned earlier, we form a part of a web when you're talking of the wildlife, biodiversity provide people everywhere with the ecosystem, services, home, food, and chain, they are linked. They are, there is a web, they are interlinked. If that link is gone, if that link is gone, you end up with disaster. We don't know where it goes and ended up big. So therefore, we would like to say that why then we have the world conservation strategy? Why we want to have a world conservation strategy to conserve the environment? Because by 2020, they started a world conservation strategy, came into being in 18, 1980. Now, 220, two years back, this is the consumption situation of the uh, current world. So, therefore, environment, biodiversity, and wildlife was playing a big role in this game. They have a biodiversity, all organisms, and system in all locations in general. So, therefore, while in the old locations, we must go for a Tirasara Pavichak Sada Gati Yutui. That does not mean that. We should not derive benefit. Happy taking current known. Therefore, convention of biodiversity also coming as a tool defined in the biodiversity. After we are talking of wildlife in life, 80s, variability within the species, between the species and the ecosystem. So biodiversity means biological diversity, conservation, practical utilization, everything. Not only the biological diversity, its conservation aspect and its utilization aspect, together we call biodiversity. That is why we always say, especially, we say, we were told, we were taught that wildlife, the biodiversity is having a depth and the width, rather than the biological diversity. You must understood that part very clearly. So we know the fundamental process causes of biodiversity losses in the country, human population, traded products, ownerships, knowledge, legal and institutional system. So through this process, these mechanisms are operating. Increase, population increase, habitat loss, some animals are becoming extinctions because of this thing, pollution, then over-exploitation, global climate change is going to come and industrial agriculture and forestry is going to come because of the, to feed the people. So those are the mechanisms that uh, they are. So therefore, humanity's relationship with the biosphere, the thin layer of our in the planet will continue to deteriorate, everything the sphere, including the Sri Lanka, right? Therefore, a new environmental things need to be adapted. Human population need to be stabilized and sustainable mode of development become uh, the rule rather than the exceptions. So, development sometimes api kienoa sangwardeni kienega e sangwardeni ata pita ata karan nevenni with the present generation as well as future generation in. So if you consider the conservation aspect of it, we know that man changed it. I have told you man changed it. Man exploited it. Man used it. Some people say that wise use of country resources, including recreation. But we know from our ecological studies, ecosystems are dynamic. It changes all the time. The changing of an ecosystem is a function of that ecosystem. Successional, succession, changes, complete appearance, species, composition, grassland and forest. Therefore, from ecology, we know that we cannot conserve, keep it as it is. Therefore, our conservation strategy highlight that the management of human use of the biosphere in a way that it may yield the greatest sustainable benefit to the present generation while maintaining, maintaining potential to meet the needs and aspiration of the future generation. This is conservation 
strategy highlighted in 1980s. So therefore, our conservation action that we have been already wildlife policy highlighted, ecological process, and we are human survival and development depends on primary production, clean air. So you need to consider endemic biota. Then sustainable utilization, the species and the person that is going to support the people. So these things will have to keep in your mind when you are doing the work. If you consider the summary of all the definition, the conservation is having four pillars. If you are to conserve wildlife, if you conserve wild biodiversity, if you conserve the environment in total, you need to protect it. When you protect, because we are, as we are using it, when you use it, you must have to have a regulation. And when you are using and regulate it, you need to manage it. So therefore, if the management regulations are violated by the lawmakers of this country, the summary or the pillars of deprivation will end up with disasters. You know, I am trying to say that the regulations to regulate it, to protect, we have the legal provisions, but Amwami Desha Palajyang Sanikri Kaya supporters la Miva Amwami Ullanganekar. That's what a summary of all definition, protection, usefulness, and management. Miva Koyin Kilavara Vedi Kene Kapita Sitaganda Oma Marvi in. Then we come to the conservation. As I mentioned earlier, people centered for nature and nature centered for people. Both this, it has to be done. Otherwise, it will not, because otherwise, people will realize that the conservationists and the lawmakers and the departments are antisocial enemies. Therefore, it has to be done in that way. So, therefore, I won't, I will reiterate that. Is conservation is a very good process. Three main system that I already mentioned, and you need certain uh, mechanism. So, what we are having for the conservation of Sri Lankan environment and wildlife, global warming at waste disposal over population, ocean acidification, biodiversity. These are the things that you generally know. But we need to work together to arrest these things. Therefore, we have different strategies. We have different strategies for biodiversity conservation. So, unique ecosystems should be preserved. Resources should be utilized efficiently. Unwanted, you know, the uh, illicit killing of animals should be prevented and regulated. Pollution should be really reduced. Deforestation should be strictly prohibited. Environment regulation should be followed strictly. Conservation, the natural habitat as well as the artificial habitat need to be taken into account as far as the endangered species of plants and animals are concerned. Then the public should be created, but big awareness should be created regarding the this aspect of biodiversity conservation. So there are different meanings, but what action you can take? So even in the IG targets, 2020, at least 17% of the terrestrial inland water areas, 10% of the coastal and marine areas need to be protected. So these are the agreements that you go and promised at the international arena, right? So they're keeping that all those things into your mind. Now we'll see that. What are the options available for conservation? What are the options available for conservation of this biodiversity? And we'll see that where our wildlife is going to be part and parcel of this biodiversity. So what you said that Dan, we have two options for the conservation of biodiversity. One is conservation of biodiversity as a live concept. Then the conservation of biodiversity as a dead component. Here, yeah. dead and live. If you consider the dead aspect, 
you know, the museum and laboratory herbariums and so forth. Those are therefore your dead specimens. Conserve for the future. Collection for the future or present and future. So there is a program for biodiversity conservation, which is not, you know, uh, there are so many plus and uh, minus points, but we should not advocate that one. But we must go for the LI program. Where when you are talking about the LI program, biodiversity allow strategy options. You have in situ conservation, where and also ex situ conservation. If you consider the in situ conservation allow program, there are dichotomous key, ex in situ conservation and ex situ conservation. When you consider the institute conservation, your entire Sri Lankan environment, you are trying to protect the biodiversity component as it is on the site. Staniya Sanrakshana Kriya Marge. Daiva Vidatya, Staniya Sanrakshana Kriya Marge, Kriya Sanrakshana Kiri Me Abhikiri. We will have to take them away from the original site and put it somewhere else and we have ex situ conservation. Paribahira Sanrakshane. I may take a pull, I may take a advantage of my ex situ conservation, ecosystem conservation. In the ecosystem conservation, genetic and species diversity, Karana Pulang Yamatanatamai, in situ conservation. Ex situ conservation can be biodiversity conservation, okay, supplementary. If I go for the further ex situ conservation, you can conserve the whole organism or you can go for the part of the organism, so species. If you go for the whole organism, you have botanical garden, zoological gardens, aquarium, blah, blah. When you go to the part of the organism, you have seed bank, gene bank, tissue bank, organ banks. So therefore taking away from the original site, put them in some location. These are the captive, whatever animals. Sometimes within this situation, you have some domesticated species as well. When it comes to in-situ conservation, you protect them. Alive. Within the system, you have concept of protected area. Ne concept is going to come here. Sanrakshana kala pitikiri me patwa geni me yantre hina. It amatarava. Apitena wa sanrakshana kala polim pitati na deval javita te komas one jeevin komas sanrakshana kara. Eta gata apita jangi na wa ekakta mai outside the protected areas. Apidana low species list, you know, Vinama Karta Ventino, again Wagi get the tenemo, Satava, protected dairy, Gaknuna to Watamaranda. In Asagan, either low again is a two Arab Sakatu. Eva gave a tamai. Apina, the Zila, again, Tava strategy, even Tava Yantanak, Loki Gayat Maguna, Eka Pitakino, Apigino, other. Environmental conservation measures, OECMs. This was introduced by, you know, this was now this, under this one, in a make a outside the protected area network with the people participation. Environmental sensitive area policy was developed and it is with the Ministry of Environment. And during the last four to five years, UNDP with the Ministry of Environment, Biodiversity and Policy, Policy Division of the Ministry, working together, collecting information, was doing that. And I hope if there are no any obstacles for that one, the, the person who was Behind this ESA policy, I would like to thank uh, because I was there right from the beginning. Sugandhi Samar Singh of the UNDP is 
was fighting, working day and night to uh, bring this environment, uh, sensitive, environment sensitive policy be, to become a reality. Now it is the, uh, with the Minister of Environment and we train a lot of people. She took a special effort and credit should go, should go to her. Now, when we consider this part, this alive part, that is the way, place where we are talking of wildlife. What is not taken away or domesticated? This is the area that wildlife management and wildlife management tool, fauna and flora protection ordinance will have to operate. Forest ordinance will have to operate. So, in situ conservation, next to conservation, and we have protected area network. What is protected area in general term? You demarcate an area by your legislation or any other means, you regulate access users and activities. Depending on the rigidity of the law, you can have SNR, you have national park, you have sanctuaries, you have nature record, you have jungle corridors. You have conservation forest. You have managed elephant areas. So access users and activities within a geographical area that is demarcated by law is going to happen. This protected area. If the protected area coming under the archaeological department is archaeology. If the law defined under the environmental tax, environmental protection area. If it is a forest department, conserva forest, uh, conservation forest, reserve forest. In the wildlife department, series of forests, national resources and sanctuaries, manage elephant areas, different categories. It, everything depends on the ownership of the land and also the regulation that you are going to make on access users and activities. So apart from that, if you can't make any laws with the community, then the environmental, the environmental sensitive area concept is going to come. That is a one way of conserving the environment and wildlife. It can be an agricultural area where people are working. This was first practice environment sensitive area was in practice in England. So in situ area cost effective, large number of living organism, evolution processes and environment services are protectable. So this is the map you can see the large number of protected areas are here. Yeah, but nothing is much in red zone area. Right. Now we will have to see that the criteria for selecting protected area. Why do you need to protect the area? So the degree of protection given to that area is not adequate. Therefore, you need to protect it. One, because people are using it and deteriorating. So access and users and activities need to be regulated, demarcate that area, make them under protection, make them under, you can have to make them. Then the log, then you have to identify some areas as a geographical distribution representation of the biota. I will explain it later. Then you have to have the location and objectives of other protected areas and we are going to come. Then we have international criteria, Ramsar sites, wetlands, and so forth. Biosphere reserves. So you know that Sri Lankan uh, 44 and 56, 92, 35, 99, 32, 2010, 29 percent. Now it is 22 percent up to now. The voting. So these are not accurate results, but they have produced the data. So these are the protected areas. This is the forest cover. These are the protected areas. So outside the protected areas are having wide array of wildlife. It provides services for the people. So you need to protect them. As I mentioned earlier, the people who are working on the national report, six national report, they came up with this map. Distribution of endemic for fauna. So concentration is much more here. But you are conserving this part more than this area. Therefore, geographical imbalance of the representation of the endemic biota and the protected area in the country. Why it has happened like that? Because 
if you consider the protected areas, majority of the protected areas are located in the dry zone. Whereas endemic biota is located in the low country wet zone and the mountain. Something has gone wrong. So NCR carried out in 1993, 94, and 95 and came up with upgrading some of the forest reserves, forest patches in wet zone areas. Why it is happened? Because we came up with Graham Protect Sri Lanka Protected Area Network came up with game first. Game reserves. So where animals are there, you have Yala, Vilpatu, Askamua, those were allocated for game. So game reserves subsequently became wildlife reserves. So game reserves, then the game there, then the biodiversity came this way. So between the game and wildlife is there. So from the game, wildlife, and we came to biodiversity. So we, we from game reserves, then the government of Sri Lanka were concentrating on the development project that were located in dry zone areas where the animals were deep displaced and catchment conservation. Therefore, protected area network was concentrating on dry zone area. Therefore, game from wildlife, game protection, then the wildlife protection displaced animals because of the development project and then the biodiversity came. Then protection came into being, then the regulation came into being, then conservation aspect came. Therefore, when you are doing the conservation strategy, use, protect, regulate, and manage it, four pillars were there. This is how sustainable utilization of resources, biodiversity can be achieved. So they have a conservation, means sustainable use. And biodiversity conservation coming and linking with the sustainable use. Therefore, you must study, you must save, and biodiversity conservation use, study, and save, what was highlighted before, me, is the key aspect of that. So in the Sri Lankan context, you need to do that. So therefore, in legislation, you have national own and flora protection ordinance, different categories of protected areas. You have national environment act, environment protection areas, forest conservation ordinance, forest reserves, resort forest and conservation, forest and national heritage and wilderness act, fisheries resources. Fisheries Act, Post Conservation Act, conservation areas, special management areas, beach parks, and so forth. So there are so many areas for wildlife conservation under different legislations in Sri Lanka. Therefore, as I mentioned, apart from that, the located, what was located outside the protected area network, concept for conserving biodiversity outside the protected area network, other effective area based conservation measures came into being. That is what I mentioned, UNDP, Environmental Ministry, and, and, and uh, is working together. Conservation measures. So conservation of border strategic plan in 2018 highlighted this. 2010 included in the strategic plan. In 2019, global decision maker defined the term protected areas and OESM are different but complement each other. So therefore we are having the OECM as other environment conservation measures, policy drafted one by the UNDP with the support of the UNDP and it is with the environment ministry at the drafting stage at any time it will, uh, I hope and wish it will come unless some people are uh, pulling the <laughs> leg of that because with this uh, very 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 important one as 2001 circular was abolished so 
I am not going to details in that, but these are some of the other effect to media uh, measures. I want to uh, limit because I am not going to detail on those things. It is special one. So, biodiversity value outside the protected areas, you have a lot of things, a lot of wild animals, a lot of cultural heritage outside the protected area, not a lot of villages are there, high level of ecological integrity, rare and threatened species, and also special species like um, what is called savanna nilgala plains, painted partridge, and other species. These are the areas that need to be protected under the Environment Act, even the indigenous people living in certain areas. So therefore, a lot of areas are there in the future for environment sensitive area uh, approach. So with all those things, understanding ecology, biology, so we need to define wildlife in the nowadays. So therefore, in 2000, in 1990, Professor Kotakam in the wildlife first policy, he defined taking all the facts into consideration, wildlife is plants and animal which owe their existence to natural phenomena or to the processes that took out automatically. Therefore, each and every animal, each and every plant that are not under the influence, captive or domesticated are considered as wildlife. So, so therefore, you need to know wildlife is there. As I mentioned, you need to have a very clear, clear information base. Therefore, as far as the wildlife people are concerned, wildlife management is concerned in this country, as a biodiversity experts are in this country, as well as NGO the taxonomy leaders are in this country, who are responsible you have three areas of confrontations. This is when the population of particular species is increasing to undesirable condition. You are facing problem because you have made certain areas compatible or conducive for that species to get their population up. Then you are also having a problem, population decrease into undesirable condition. And that is why, again, we are also having some problem. Then on, the, on top of that, the Sri Lankan Wildlife Department is having huge problem, human wildlife conflict. Major human elephant conflict, human monkey conflict, human peacock conflict, human what is called Deer conflict now, human crocodile conflict. Some people are trying to say human leopard conflict, make out of, make an income out of that. So that is not there. So therefore, when these things are there, owing to this biodiversity law mechanisms, losing mechanisms, which is very important for us, for you people to get the IUCN report and concept of red list for species and ecosystem are in operations. Therefore, you must have to have a valid reasons to justify what is happening with these things. That from the humans, decreasing whatever said and done, you are doing a lot of research work, you are doing the spatial distribution, the numbers, so these things are paramount of importance. Ultimately, it will contribute to this red list process. This is one of the vital documents for a country. So when you are doing this management, you need to manage wildlife. Then you are talking of wildlife is like that plant and animal. So wildlife is that, wildlife management is 
plant and animal living in a particular environment, habitat. So you have some problem. So you will have to manage or manipulate these two so that the population are going to come to the stable level. So wildlife management therefore defined as manipulation of animal population, so plant, habitat, both until you achieve predefined objectives. Predefined objectives means what has happened to the status and the trends of population at the original time that is called baseline information. So therefore, do this. You need a wide knowledge. Must the people, habitat relation specialists, must contribute. It's not one man job, wildlife management. So every meteorology, soil science, forestry, agronomy, body physiology, any other field you can incorporate, accept it. So it is a multidisciplinary approach. So you need to know the present trends. Need to quantify what is happening, present status, population habitat conditions, and their trends increasing or decreasing, as I mentioned. In the case of habitat as restoration or degradation or stable condition. So those things you need to know when you are managing wildlife. Not going and planting trees on planting days or wetland day or uh, world forest day or whatever. There is a need, there is a mechanism. So when the population increase, there is a problem. The herbivore population increase due to low mortality, high fecundity, all lead into habitat deterioration. Physical conditions is dropping due to susceptibility. Competi competition due to population growth. Population may crash. Population decrease, competition, disturbance, maybe habitat destruction, or lot of ideas, lot of concepts, and lot of uh, drivers. Therefore, you need to have management tools. Sometimes we say box of matches, early Berlin rotating, so forth, artificial watering, management improve, above so on, and see that. You do something with this one and see whether the populations are going to come to. So habitat restoration is of important. Baseline injury of the flora and fauna and the other paramount of import. You manage the wildlife. Remove the invasive removal that are going to compete with that. Planting native and indigenous species, yeah, based on the baseline information collected. Monitor and maintain and follow the DOC model. Therefore, habitat restoration is a multiple purpose. What you do is you go and plant some trees or the world Wildlife day, or World Wetland Day, or whatever day, or Mangrove Day, whatever, forget it. That is not going to happen in this country when you are in the world. So during four last 50 years, I have been watching replanting programs. By the time the number of trees that we planted, now we are planting the trees now at the North Pole as well as we have gone beyond that. So many millions of plants we have planted. There is no monitoring, managing mechanisms. So wildlife management practices. So wildlife management means, as I mentioned, management is the manipulation of wildlife, animal population, the habitat and interaction of both to achieve the predefined objectives. So therefore, as I mentioned earlier, ecology and biology of the wildlife species highlighted there, degree of competition between animals and among the animals, habitat interaction, that is why you need a habitat relation specialist, environment practice, meteorology, and other so forth. So 
this is what i mentioned and ultimately those data that you collected not to many coming as a red listing program your status and trends will be highlighted so similar thing rather than extinct for the for the for the for the ecosystem you get the ecosystem collapse co so therefore those information are there to do this you need to have a inventory census yield determination diagnosis and monitoring of wildlife in your area in your park that is why scientific community must be there to do the wildlife support wildlife department research divisions are there to do this one so you need to provide very sensible information very sensible information to the rest listing and management programs of the wildlife department so therefore wildlife as i mentioned in earlier we need a lot of uh, lot of uh, information and interaction so therefore the wildlife management is a what is what, what i should say it is a three interacting cycle you have the scientific sector you have the socio economic sector you have the management sector so biodiversity and wildlife research will provide information based on the qualitative and quantitative aspects so that is a paramount important where you have the restriction program habitat relation range impact blah blah a lot of information human elephant complete and pole so based on those information you make population studies habitat studies interaction this scientific sector is a must for the wildlife management so therefore this scientific sector must provide information for socio economic sector which include the policy makers so quantitative information and qualitative information can be taken for the education educating the administrators politicians and the department and also for so those information coupling with the history joining with the culture taking the economics of the country into consideration the policy makers will make approval the policies on the biodiversity conservation aspect and management aspects that is why wildlife policies were there there is a separate policy was needed for the human elephant conflict and the it by elephant policy was brought in forest policy was there you need to have a wetland policy mangrove policy even though those are for us there is a need so because of the need arises you make certain recommendation to the policy makers and then they make certain policies and with that policy you have the legislation so the policy will not be a successful strategy unless you bring them under certain legislations or rules so the government is having the policy for blah 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 but that doesn't serve any purpose but it is incorporated into the legislation so therefore history culture education must be taken into account and administration must be there and also those legislation will be go for the law enforcement but for the time being forest department wildlife department coast conservation department so majority of the people are sometimes working on the same mandate there is a necessity for them to delineate their boundaries so for that you need to have a very good discussion with the communities the law makers the officials because otherwise somebody else business so when it comes to the management sector you collect the information from the scientific community there there this is the place where actually you get actually you get management aspect of wildlife 
manipulation of habitat, animals and plants and habitat until you meet the predefined objectives. That is where you give information to the wildlife department, their management sector, they are at the planning division, they are natural resource management division, get together and working for the strategies and action for the wildlife management with the support of the scientific, non-scientific, taxonomy, NGOs, well wishes, support of all these people, wildlife department can do this one. So if I say that, when you are having the information, when we are having the issues of forest department, wildlife department, forest conservation department, and they are also must be some coordinating body. That is my understanding. To work together for a better conservation aspect of a country. So this is what in other forms I have given you in a different sectors form. There. Yeah. Because why I have mentioned here the culture and the history. Because if I say, if I say, don't misunderstand, the population of Samba in Horton Plains is far high. So, as Western countries, I learn, which I learn, if I say that culling is recommended, then Next day, papers, newspapers will appear. Atmala, go, Samba Gata Kya. Metamango Ali Marandaki with him, Gaja Gata Kya, or a Karikiati. So, therefore, sometimes, because of the culture and the history, some scientific decision cannot be taken. Therefore, you will have to go over all the cause of actions. So this is the professional activities in wildlife management. That is why interaction of animals. So therefore, wildlife management, you need what is there? That is called environment, inventory, species present, environment parameters. This is called inventory, you know, what is there. But not only inventory, you need to have for wildlife management, how much of it? How much of it? That is where you have your census. Age, numbers, amount, habitat, sex ratios, species ratios, dentistry, interactions, different habitat combinations. Those things are needed as a census and you will need to quantify. Those are the baseline information needed to see the trends and status. From that you can see go for the, what is the yield, what is there. From there, if anything goes wrong, we can diagnose what has goes wrong. If you know the what has gone, what has gone wrong, then we will go for control of management option, manipulation aspects. So therefore, wildlife management, census, productivity, diagnosis, treatment of control measures, direct, indirect, miscellaneous counts, like water hole. You need, you need to diagnose them. So therefore, you see to see the natality, mortality, environmental relation, prey and prey, prey and predator relationship, carry capacity, carry illegal hunting activity, what is going on, animal, their behavior, appropriate relation studies, food and water relationship and, right? So those factors needs to be identified and understood. So therefore, wildlife management need to have census in different way will give a lot of information of the trends. There are different methods that you can adapt. 
So, why to manage overburden population? They sometimes in other countries over harvesting, restore the ecological process. We see that world wildlife day key species for restoration ecology maintain the population at compatible level. So there are certain things need to be done. Corridors, species richness, migratory pattern, carrying capacity studies without knowing, without knowing the number, you can't manage any species. So you need to monitor the wildlife populations, habitat improvement. In other countries, you can have hunting regulations, artificial stocking in other countries, not in Sri Lanka. This is. So therefore, habitat requirement need to be provided, food, water, cover, and space in adequate conditions. And you do this, you provide it and see what consequences. You know that Therefore, uh, arrangement of these habitats is also paramount important. When you are talking of HFX, when you are talking of management aspects, the habitat relation specialist need to be there. vertical structure, everything. I cannot talk all these aspects here because my time is think of some corridors in Sri Lanka, in other countries where people are working, carrying capacity and so forth, and research on wildlife monitoring, slash and burn cult practices, uh, and also artificial removal, diseases, field sampling technique, visual counters and different methods you can adopt. So therefore, I will stop from here. What is important here is what is biodiversity, what is wildlife, what is wildlife management for management purposes, what are the requirements, what are the data you require, what are the most important peers that is coupled with management. So what are the conservation policies that are available in Sri Lanka, what are the future? If we can consolidate some of this and have discussion with these departments, then the wildlife problems that we are having and environment conservation can be worked out in sustainable way. But however, so we are passing a very, 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 what is called unsatisfactory era. And also the parks are open for sand mining, Parks are open for roads, parks are open for settlements, parks are open uh, protected areas. You know, ministers are saying that don't prosecute people in protected areas, quotas. So these are a lot of problems. So, so therefore, the, the, uh, the community, including all people coming, coming from different walk or disciplines need to be, uh, you know, need to come together to that one. So there are laws and regulations, policies are there, but you need to develop a very, very good uh, mechanism. Otherwise, illicit. There are so many things that I will have to discuss and there are maybe um, two to three hundred slides I have taken in the <laughs> lineup. But when time to come, I will go on uh, wildlife management concepts and practices under special consideration in the future. Thank you. Thank you, uh, everybody. I have taken more than the time given, but it is going to be very... Oh, yes, I took... Uh, nearly two hours. Uh, there is a message. Let me see. 
Ah, uh, ecological order. There is one message. Let me see. Dr. Patma, from both a governance and a technical point of view, would it make sense for the DWC, FT, and the CCD to be brought together, including consolidating some of the policies and legislation? If yes, what are some of the key challenges of making such a change? What are, if yes, what are the, some of the key challenges? And the major challenges, I can say that institutional authority, you don't like to share, right? This is my piece, even that is the problem. So the one minister in charge of environment need to bring all those institutions under one jurisdiction direction and he must be a visionary, not a culprit. And he must work according to the mandate given to him, not the mandate of the politicians or other well wishers. Because if the wildlife department, the minister in charge of wildlife department does not represent the mandate of the wildlife department and he is trying to cater for Kirigovias and other people and sand miners and others, so then consolidate it or whatever is going to be a hell of a joke. That is one possible, but uh, this is this is going to be a challenge. Authority problem is there. I, sir, Autumn Plains is facing ecological issues. Yes, there are some ecological issues because dieback mechanism is going on. Some of these uh, invasive species are there. Some of the uh, uh, what is called uh, uh, yeah, invasion of uh, grassland uh, by uh, you know some bamboos is taking place. So a lot of successional changes are taking place uh, with the dieback mechanism. So therefore need to work out in that aspect as well. So therefore when you're handling these invasive species, you must work and very carefully because last time when they remove some of these species, some of the invasive species, it was very detrimental to the some endemic biota. Uh, those are the two questions were there. I think I answer. Uh, yeah. If, yes, what are what are the key challenges? Challenges is I don't want to shed my authority. <laughs>